Welcome back to part 2 of this series, where we continue with the bookcase. In this instance, I'm continuing basically with the top and feet bottom parts of the side panels. Here I'm basically sawing out the sides of the panel, and then further on I'm going to use a chisel to remove the rest of the waste. To make sure everything is nice and smooth, I'm just filing everything flat so that it looks nice at the end of the day. And of course removing all the sharp corners and sides. This is the top part of the bookcase and here I'm basically carving out the last of the low relief carvings. I decided to add some nice small details to the big rosettas just to make it look a little bit more lifelike at the end of the day. And as in the previous video, once I'm done with all the low relief carving and cleaning up, the last step is basically to add some background noise in the relief casts. With all the structural parts done of the bookcase, basically what I'm doing here is making a rebate at the back of each panel and this will house uh, the back paneling at the end of the day so it doesn't stick out. The last main parts that I have to make are basically the shelves that are going to go into the bookcase. I've already glued two pieces together as shown here and now basically I'm making it thinner so that it gets to the correct width. I'm using a scrub plane first to remove the bulk of the waste before I will use one of the smoothing planes to get to the correct size as intended. As you can see here I'm showing the width that I still have to take away with the scrub plane. It doesn't look like much on the video but in reality trying to remove it with a plane is quite a lot of work. Here I'm just using another scrub plane with a wider blade uh, just to basically remove more waste lengthwise to get as close as possible to the line I showed in the previous segment. So, once the majority of the waste has been removed, I'm using basically one of my more smoothing planes now to get to the correct size and basically to get all the waves out of the board so it's nice and perfectly flat and smooth. And with all that done, the next step is basically now just to cut the boards or the shelves to the correct length and then clean up. So for each shelf piece, I'm just squaring it after sawing it and just making sure it will be the correct length for each place it's going to fit into the bookshelf. I decided to put a chamfer on the front of each shelf just to give it a bit of more of a pleasing effect. I've also added rebates on the sides as you can see there to go over the holders inside the cabinet.
these are going to be the holders that I was talking about that each shelf is going to be glued over and it's going to be added, attached to the bookcase inside. With the holders completed, it's now time to glue them in place to each piece of the bookcase. I'm going to use, obviously the first step is to use glue and after that I'm going to drill holes and pin it just to make sure that it will have enough strength. Here I'm just drilling a hole through each holder into the board so I can put a pin in it. The idea is of course not to go through to the other side where the carvings are. And finally, after all that is done, it's now finally time to glue the whole bookcase together. The first step of course is to glue the main parts together or the carcass. After that has been dried, then I will glue each sh shelf into place. using all my available long clamps just to make sure everything is nice and tight. Here I'm basically gluing every shelf into place one piece at a time and also making sure that it will fit nice and snugly. Basically planing the sides down until I get a nice snug fit at the end of the day. With the main parts of the bookcase now done, the last part to add will be the backing boards. So what I'm going to do is, because it's going to be painted black at the end of the day, I'm going to use pine boards as I show here, and I'm going to cut them each in half so that I can get nice thin boards at the end of the day. And here are all the pieces that I will need for the backing board. I use my bandsaw to resaw each board in half since it would have taken a quite a long time to do it with hand saws at the end of the day. And just to show the back of each piece, that will be on the back side which is supposed to face a wall which will not be seen, hopefully. And here basically I'm just showing how I'm gluing each part in, as you can see, going into the rabbits that I prepared earlier in the video and then each piece is basically overlapped with each other. That's basically to add some nice strength and consistency to each piece. Since my clamps won't work very well here, I'm basically using all my planes to add some weight at the end of the day so it will get nice contact with each piece. And after spray painting it with enamel oil paint, here's basically the bookcase completed, viewing it from the front. This is how the sides came out after being spray painted black. I think it has a nice touch to it. I was afraid I was going to lose some detail. 
after spray painting it black but now viewing it with different light sources it actually adds a nice dimension and shine to it at the end of the day. And here is a view of the top piece after being spray painted black. Once again I thought I would lose detail but in reality when viewing it in real life you actually get a quite a good sense of detail. And lastly just a bit of a demo shot of how it will look like with books in it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video soon. Cheers!